Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go over creating uh, the basis of our game. So we're going to start by creating uh, some persistent variables, things that we can pass through the world. And what I mean by pass through the world is obviously our game is going to be made up of multiple rooms. Um, in each of these rooms we're going to want to share some variables. Now we could use the global scope for this, but the reason why I want to use an object is because we're going to have a little bit more flexibility over the initialization of that object and it's also going to help us later down the track when we start to deal with save and load. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to the object section, we're going to create a new group, we're going to call this group system. Inside of the system folder create another object and we'll call this one object game state. Now. Obviously our game is going to have a, a title screen or a menu screen at some point in time. We aren't quite there just yet, but we're going to basically sort of set our game up and be ready for that. So all we need to do is we just add another room and we'll call this one RM underscore title screen. We make sure the dimensions are exactly the same as our um, previous room. Drag this to the top so that it's the first room in our system and inside of it we're just going to add that game state object from system into the top left corner. Now inside of the game state object select this box that says persistent and what that means is that as we change room that object will still exist. So add a create event and this is where we're going to initialize all of our all of our variables. So add a script to that and we're going to call this initialize ivars. That just stands for instance variables. So inside of this, one thing that we probably want to do um, is just say global dot game speed equals 1.0. And what this means is we can use this variable now to slow to pause um, the game if we multiply everything by this. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to have another script we're going to call this one here um, start game and in here just say room go to next and what this will do is this will just make it so that when we start the game it starts up with the title screen it initializes this game state object and then it passes us to our intro introduction level so let's just run the game and make sure that that works okay as you can see we've successfully started up into our game where we previously left off. So the next thing that we probably want to do is, uh, like RPG Maker, they have these things, um, I forgot what they're called, I think they're called switches. We're going to set up something very similar to switches, and this is going to be called global.switches equals ds underscore map underscore create so what this lets us do is um, actually we're not going to make this global we're just going to call this switches so what this lets us do is we can now do stuff like switches question mark uh, intro scene equals true let's just say yes for now and then we can do something like show underscore message switches question mark intro scene if all is well this should work oh, sorry I forgot to put the little bracket in here let's try that now oh it still hasn't worked Okay, sorry, I've realized what's wrong, I've done this wrong. Um, you need to put these into quotes. So what this gives us, this gives us a system that's somewhat like the RPG switches system. We'll be able to turn them on and off throughout our game. As you see, this one says yes. Now to demonstrate the fact that this is now going across from the title screen into the intro room, what we can do is we can keep this intro scene variable here, we'll say true because we're going to use a, a, boot, a boolean operation for that. In our intro scene here, on the creation event, we'll do the same thing we had, show message. We'll call this one here, 
um, sorry, I forgot the name of that variable. Uh, it was called switches. So in our creation event, we do show message switches, a square bracket and a question mark, and then the name of the variable we're looking for, which is intro scene. What we should see is a true or false, or a one and a zero. I think it will be one. No, that's given us an error. Did I call it? Okay, once again, I'd like to apologize. Let's change this. Let's change this to game state. Capital G, capital S. We'll set our intro scene variable to be true. And in our title screen, sorry, in our intro room, under the creation code, we'll show the message. And this will say game state dot switches. Square bracket, question mark, intro scene. This will just show us that this has actually persisted across both rooms. There we go, now it says one. So what that means is now we have the ability from any object to set these variables inside of our game state object. This gives us the ability to do things like quests where we say, uh, if you're on the current quest, have you got the item, yes or no, and then when you come back to the previous NPC, whether or not you've completed the quest successfully. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I've been RM2K Dev. Once again, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. I really do appreciate your comments. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know, and um, I'll do my best to get around to making those features for you.